Hey y'all. So I just finished doing probably the best, I don't even want to call it a silk press because it's not, but blowout flat iron that I think I've ever done. I ended up cutting off another inch. I keep thinking my hair is like this short, you guys. I don't know why I keep thinking that. Y'all, this is probably the healthiest, the best my hair has ever looked. It looks so much healthier, so much better. I really want to go shorter, but before I do that, I saw on TikTok a girl talking about her fine hair, and I have fine hair as well, her fine natural hair, and how people, stylists, everyone can tell her to do a bob, go shorter, it'll make her hair look fuller, and she was like, it still hasn't. That, that did not do the trick, and honestly, I don't think there's a trick for us, except for adding some clip-ins. I wonder if I want to go shorter because I see all the girls now cutting their hair really short. It looks so chic and cute, but I'm like, my hair naturally isn't full like that. I done did these things that hurt these uh, Velcro rollers. I'm not using them ever again. I have some movement, y'all, y'all see that? But as far as the fullness goes, I don't think that's in the cards for me. So y'all, this is what we're gonna do. I got my favorite clip-ins. These are my cl seamless clip-ins from Lachey Hair on Amazon. I will put link these down below. I have used this hair in the silky, loved it, the kinky, loved it. And now I have the Yaki Straight, you guys. I specifically wanted the Yaki Straight 14 inches because I knew one, I was going to cut some of this hair. Number two, this is going to be the best texture to blend in with my hair. So if you don't know about these clip-ins, they are perfect for my fine hair girls. We are focusing on the girls that just need a little bit of help today, like myself. So it's basically like a plastic kind of right here. I'm gonna show you guys up close. And then once you flip over to the comb side, it's not so plasticky, it's really soft. So the seamless clip-ins, y'all, are great for fine hair because they're seamless. These are not your old school clip-ins. They are going to blend and lay really flat. This is the flattest you're going to get with clip-ins. I'm gonna flat iron them really quickly and then I'm gonna pop them in and then I'm gonna cut them. I think that'll work. Let's just, let's just see, let's just see. All right, y'all, so I'm only gonna use one bundle of clip-ins for this look, you guys. And here's just a close-up. The weft on these are paper thin and super flexible, y'all. I'm telling you, this is the flattest, flattest you're going to get as far as clip-ins go. I freaking love all of these clip-ins from Lachey Hair. So just going in, like I said, and just flat ironing the hair really lightly, mainly to get it straight because I'm going to end up um, cutting a few inches off so that it blends in with my hair. And basically it's the same length as my hair, y'all. So I'm just gonna start from the back and work my way forward, y'all. So I'm gonna part out um, some of the back. Usually I end up braiding all of my hair down, but not for this. I really just wanted to add the fullness in there um, so I'm leaving my hair out, which is perfect for this look. It ended up blending really nicely. So I just went on ahead and measured it, um, the length of my hair with the clip-ins and then just cut off the excess and just clipped it on in. Um, I didn't use any hairspray or anything like that. I don't think you need it. They were very secure and very comfortable. Most people use a little hairspray, but I didn't want to ruin i guess my um my straight hair with hairspray or anything like that so i just left it as is for now and it was just fine these are not heavy they're not pulling um if you do plan on keeping them in like wearing your hair like this for some weeks or some somewhere along those lines days i don't know um then maybe you would consider braiding down the part where you're going to lay your track so every couple spaces you know just put a horizontal braid in but you definitely don't have to these were very easy to just pop in and go and blend it very well so look at that blend right there i just wanted to show you guys i was having a hard time cutting this hair because it blended very well with my natural hair you guys y'all <laughs> look at this blend look Okay, now y'all, I'ma just bump the ends just a wee bit, like just a little bit using my T3. And then I'm going to lightly put it, like lay my edges. I don't want them too laid. I want them to look very natural kind of edges, but I, you don't want them to look like me. And then I'm gonna tie my hair up. 
Okay, y'all, I definitely should have skipped curling my ends because I ended up looking like my mama. It just, I mean, there's nothing wrong with looking like my mama, but you know, I didn't want my ends bumped like this, but I ended up fixing it off camera. I was like, nah, girl, this is just not, it's not, it's not doing it for me. But anywho, just an FYI, at this point, um, 14 inches is the shortest length that they provide. So that's why I went with it. Had they had 12 or maybe even 10, I don't I don't know. 12, I probably would have went for the 12 because it's always better to go a tiny bit sh um, longer than shorter. So um, yeah, y'all, I didn't really do much to my edges. I just kind of brushed them down and here is the final look, you guys. I think the edges really make this look. It really makes it seem like or look like it's all of my hair. They're not glued down like normally they are you know very just free and flowy and wispy and i love the outcome all right guys so this is the final look y'all i this looks really good to me this looks natural to me i still look like myself even though with all the wigs i wear and this and that or whatever i look the most like myself like this the clippings literally just add volume to my hair a little bit of length in the front y'all i can just put my hair up in a clip like so if I wanted to. Um, I could sleep in these if I wanted to, just tie my head up at nighttime. Yeah, y'all, overall, it just like, y'all, that blend is so freaking good. All right, you guys, so I'm gonna actually show you another look. I don't think I've done this on my channel in such a long time. You guys have seen the clip-ins from me with wearing it down, two bundles, one bundle. I just did one bundle. And I was like, okay, that gets a little boring. I think you guys get the point. Um, I would definitely suggest if you're just looking to add fullness to your hair, if your hair is fine like mine, one bundle is enough. But if you want the length and fullness, like you want double, you plan on braiding your hair down, I would definitely go for two bundles of hair so for this next look you guys i'm doing that like trending 90s um updo style i used to wear my hair like this when i was younger but all i'm doing is just separating the back of my head and coming up like to make basically make a high ponytail so i'm clipping the clip ends upside down so that they will end up laying nice and flat by this time y'all my hair was very weighed down and so I was like, this is the perfect time to try something different with these clippings. So I just gathered my hair up in a high ponytail. Um, it's already looking cute. By this time right here, I was like, okay, this this is gonna be good. I was, this is gonna be good. Um, and then all I did was just curl the hair, lay my edges just a bit. Um, my hair, like I said, was already getting weighed down. It was a little oily, a little bit greasy. And so it was definitely not wash day. So I needed something different. And I thought this would really be cute for Christmas or even New Year's. A very simple look. Um, Valentine's Day is right around the corner. It'll be here faster than you, you know, faster than we know it. And so this is a very flirty, simple style you can do at home. You do not need to go anywhere and have someone do this for you. So um, I'm adding in a few pieces in the front like the one the single clip pieces and then I'm just gonna cut them so that it flows a little bit better these pieces are always in the front of my hair anyway so it's fine if they get cut I am using my um, other bundle of 14 inches you guys so here's here's my thing if I'm gonna wear my hair I have two bundles right if I'm gonna wear my hair down I'm going to use that first pack that I use because it's already cut even it looks good it blends well but if I'm doing an updo I don't want the end so blunt which is why I did not use the first pack of hair I went on ahead and used the regular 14 inches for this style um, and all I cut was just those two little pieces right here that I'm curling so this is the final look with this updo, you guys. I gave you guys two different styles in one video. Quite proud of myself. Y'all, make sure you check the description box. Everything that I use, well, the clip-ins will be down there, the direct link. Make sure you get them right now. Thank you guys so much for watching. Happy holidays, Merry Christmas, and I'll talk to you in my next one. Bye. Thank you.